Okay, welcome back. We're talking about cloud computing. And the last category from NIST is the service types. And so basically they break them up into three major sections. One is called software as a service. And the example would be, um, I go to Microsoft and say, I'd like to buy SQL Server and install it on my machine. They go, sure, here. And, or they would say, you know, we can do this for you. We'll just put a SQL Server instance in the cloud and you'll connect to it. You don't have to install the software. You don't have to maintain the operating system. You don't have to do anything. All you do is just pay us for the amount of traffic going back and through and how much you store. You go, cool. So that's software as a service. I'm just paying for the software piece. That's it. The next one is called platform as a service. And platform as a service is more like the virtual machines. I go to my cloud computing people and I create a brand new server. So that's the platform. In theory, I could create a new server and install whatever operating system I want. I can install my operating system, my applications, my data. I could reboot it whenever I want, right? Because it's, it's my computer that I'm doing this with. So if I want a reboot machine, I don't have to ask permission to reboot because I'm the only one using that machine. So platform as a service. And the other is called infrastructure as a service. And infrastructure is a little bit more complex. It could be, I just need some storage here. I, not, a, not, not an application and not a platform. I just need a little bit of storage over here, perhaps some RAM over here that I can use for other things. So it basically lets me pick the resources that I want, the individual resources. And I could have, for example, a disk as a cloud device that I could connect to different other cloud devices. I mean, so I could have an infrastructure as a service server, another infrastructure as a service server, and then I, um, I said that wrong. Platform as a service structure, platform as a service uh, guy, and both all point to an infrastructure as a service disk. So a single disk could, could handle more of those guys. Okay, so let's talk about security. So if it's software as a service, I have virtually nothing to do with security. I don't, I don't patch the operating system. I can't even see the operating system. I don't patch the, the application because I never installed it. But the other two guys, the, the platform, particularly the platform, platform as a service, I installed that or most likely it came pre-installed. I mean, you do have that option when you create one of these guys to say, uh, install it for me. And by the way, it don't. It only takes like two or three minutes to, to start up a, a brand new server from scratch. They do, have this down pat. But, so it's installed. I log in with administrator rights, and then I'm now responsible for the virus checks and keeping the stuff all, doing the Microsoft updates and all the rest of those things. So some of the time, it's a responsibility of the cloud guy, and sometimes it's your responsibility to do this. Okay, we have reached the end of this chapter. And uh, we'll see you guys again in some future chapter.